thieves or criminals right so what made them like this we should try and put ourselves in their shoes right imagine you're four years old covering in your basement listening to gunshots with your family many people in the world don't have to imagine this it's their reality and most will probably feel sad for them but that's it don't get me wrong empathy is a very good thing but it won't change anything for them and what will happen to that child in most cases the child will become the one who holds the gun. One of the main reasons is because they want to fit in and another reason could be because of protection. The level of high crime and violence in their area is results in just in them feeling that they feel safer that way. When you hear the word criminal, do you think of someone uh, who's considered bad, a bad person? For example, what about a soldier? He kills people. But doesn't he do that to protect his country? Can we really consider them as evil? And if so, aren't they just following orders? The very thing we're taught to do since we're born? My name is Inaya Fawaz and I will be talking about good versus evil. The problem with humanity is that the bad guys think that they're the good guys because there's no real way to identify what's right or what's wrong. They're committing all this evil because they believe they are the ones who are right. Once they are in power, they will use they will use the power to punish their enemies. They believe for the greater good. Morality becomes something that works one way for themselves and another for the evil people who oppose them. The world is full of people who believe themselves its saviors. And quite frankly, they might be the most dangerous of them all. Everyone has different views. So how do we know what's right or what's wrong? What can heavily impact these judgments are your societal, cultural, and personal beliefs. How do we know what's right or wrong if everyone has different understandings of it? Refugees, for example, um, need a safe place to stay because the wars bombed everyone they knew and ev they ever knew and loved, but don't have the proper documents. Are they evil? Do they deserve to be treated badly? They are against the law, aren't they? But what choice did they have? If you're freezing, homeless, rarely ever eat, you would also probably end up sneaking or stealing, stealing or sneaking into some place to find shelter. They're just poor people in a world that requires money. Are they evil? Do they deserve to be treated badly? What about the people who think they're the most politically, politically correct? Their policies are superior than everyone else, giving them the authority to judge, imprison, or execute anyone else. Morality is, not, is neither white nor black. Instead, it's a shade of gray. No one can be entirely good or bad unless they are not human. It's in our nature to have these bad qualities. That's what makes us human. We should also talk about what happens if the bad person repents. What happens if he acknowledges his sins and wants to seek forgiveness? Most people believe that once a person does these bad things or bad acts, they are forever labeled as a bad person. But what if the, that person realizes the error of his ways and seeks to change himself? Can we not forgive them? Is, isn't um, forgiveness a key, key aspect of humanity? The, so the question I'm trying to make you think about is what if evil isn't real at all? And what if the people who are, do bad acts, at, do unspeakable acts, at their hearts are still human? Thank you.